Welcome back to the channel. This week we are tackling my parents' powder bathroom. This video has actually been filmed over a series of ooh, like eight months. I started it spring break last year and now it's and now it's January. So yeah, it's been a long process. It's one of those projects that's just kind of always fall into the back burner because it's just a powder bath, but I'm really excited. I am actually filming this at the end of January. A lot of the footage you'll see is from before then because I lost a lot of the original footage I had for this. I lost my original introduction, painting, the plaster work I did. A, a lot of the process has been lost, sadly. I do have the after and I do still have a ton of other things filmed because even though this space was small, it took a lot of work. So because this space is in my parents' house, I really wanted to think about what they would want in their design aesthetic. You can see the room around me. Um, it's pretty colorful. This may be not, like right next to me. They have a bright blue couch with like colorful things. The kitchen is teal and red with yellow, but my parents love color and they love warmth and they like it to feel different. Their room upstairs is kind of a goldy color that they really like with green. Their bathroom is maroon and white. The hallways around here are all like a light green. This room, to be honest, is one of the most neutral rooms and that's only because they have all this woodwork around the edge and all this colorful furniture. The blue couch, colorful rug, green chair, blue chairs, there's lots of stuff. So I'm also working with some aspects I can't change. The tiles in the bathroom are staying the same. I, they do not want to get new tiles and really they're in pretty good shape. So I didn't think we needed to. There's a vent in there that is silver that I did think about painting, but it just didn't seem like that was gonna look quite right. So the metal in there is all silver. You'll see, which is not usually my choice, but my parents don't really have a preference. There is a lot of mixing of metals within this house. There's a lot of brass, gold, oil rub, bronze, silver, chrome, everything really is in this house. So we went with the chrome in there to match that air vent and the toilet is also not changing. So we had to stay consistent with that kind of sandy color. With all of that, I got into thinking about what would feel cohesive, especially coming from the hallway and this room. There are some like red accent, red and green accents in the hallway. And I just had in my mind that I think a rust colored bathroom would look really good. I hadn't seen a whole lot of them and my parents like to do something a little bit different. So that's what we ended up going with. Rust colored with a creamy countertop that has a little bit of rust in it. And then a dark wood kind of espresso colored cabinet and then some more cream accents. So I've already done all of that, but now you get to see me do it. So that's the look we're going for. And now you can see how it comes together. The first thing I needed to do was remove the mirror and hardware in this room. I donated the mirror to our local Habitat for Humanity resource and so nothing went to waste there. And then I removed the bars that held up the towels and the paper towel. After everything was taken out of this room that I needed taken out, I got onto the painstaking process of removing the wallpaper. I really didn't like this wallpaper in here. It made the room feel smaller than it was and it was just too busy and it kind of blended into the countertops as well. That was the idea my mom had been going for to just make everything match, but it just didn't work for the space. This was rough. It did not want to come off. Uh, my grandfather put it up and he did a really, really good job. <laughs> so not a fun process. Baby, almost as if someone
was removing the wallpaper, I damaged the drywall. I decided to do a faux plaster treatment on the walls. I did it with a joint compound and a spackle knife and it was surprisingly really easy. I really like how it ended up turning out. I think it gives the walls just the right amount of interest without being distracted. I got the sink off of Facebook Marketplace. It's a cast iron undermount sink from Kohler and it's in Biscuit, which is the perfect color to go with these countertops. I love them. They're quartz in Britannica gold. And I think that they have just a little bit of rust in them that's brought out by the walls. Along with the tiles and toilet, I also kept the cabinet in here. I had to sand and prime the entire thing. This took a while because the cabinet actually had a good amount of texture. Looking back now, I wish I had filled all of that, but you live and you learn. I chose a dark espresso color from Benjamin Moore to really help ground the space. I'm adding baseboards. It's my first time adding baseboards. I got a miter saw off of Facebook Marketplace that I'm excited to use. And I was able to save like $300 because like you saw in the beginning, there were glued on plastic baseboards in there that ripped up the drywall. I couldn't stop them from ripping it up. I heated it up and you guys all have seen. I really tried to not damage that. And there's baseboards in the rest of the house. It just would look cohesive to have baseboards in there. So I am doing the baseboards. It's my first time doing them. So I'm hoping I have like four feet of overage. I needed approximately 12 linear feet and I got 16. So if I make a mistake, hopefully it's not too big of a deal. I'm gonna do the bigger sections first. And then once that's done, we're styling. So I already have the art that I've been hunting for for a while. One of the pieces is perfect. The other one is pretty good and the other one is okay. So I might eventually be updating the art in there, but I didn't want to delay this video because I couldn't find a specific piece of art that I wanted. I have all the other accessories, all the hand towels, everything. I'm very excited. I think it's gonna look so good. So without further ado, I will get into doing the baseboards, painting them, doing all the touch-ups really. The next time you're gonna talk to me is when all that is done and we are decorating. to paint the baseboards before I installed them. So my process ended up being painting first, letting it dry, installing, filling all of those little nail holes with caulk, sanding them down, and then doing some touch-up work on those areas where I caulked afterwards. For me, it worked out really well and it saved me a lot of time because I didn't have to worry about doing the edges, which I am still working on getting better at. So probably the echo it's a bathroom it's gonna echo that's kind of just it and it's warm the light is warm in here and everything bouncing off these walls as you can see is this kind of deliciously almost peanut buttery like color but just a little bit more orange i love it my parents love it i'm so happy with how this space turned out so we did a cream colored towel with a good amount of texture which you can see in here which really helps, I think, neutralize and tie in these countertops, which are like perfect for the space. You can see they've got these like hints of rust in them. 
I also got this sink, which is new off of Facebook Marketplace. It's a cast iron Kohler sink that I got for like $75, when they're usually hundreds of dollars. And I put together a little dried arrangement in this really kind of organically shaped vase. These are the two pieces that I'm not as sure about these pieces of art. I like them, but they almost blend in a bit too much. This one I love. It's got the rust and orange that's in the walls, but also has this teal blue that really pops out. And I just think it's perfect. This is that dark espresso cabinet. I think it looks really nice with the whole room. It's hard to pick up on dark things when you're filming, but overall, really happy with this bathroom and it just feels so much more elevated the old bathroom is just really busy like you guys saw i'm wearing your t-shirt it smells like roses after a thou a storm i try to flirt but you mess with neurons in my brain when i see you it's like being struck with the results my parents love it which is really the main thing because it's their house and i'm excited to get working on my next project give you a little update so if you guys are only interested in this video feel free to skip off now on what's going to be happening in the next coming weeks because the kitchen has been delayed i was thinking that i would dive headfirst into my master bedroom but going over all the stuff i want to do in there and how long i think it's going to take that would be delaying the kitchen by a good deal because I can't really do two at once. So what I'm thinking is doing a smaller project that's gonna be more useful in the long run for me anyway. That is converting my basement into a workspace. So doing all the storage, the organization, uh, setting up where my saws and everything is gonna be kept. My house kind of just has stuff everywhere and I've got this empty basement that's always dry. So tackling that. I'm gonna try to make it look nice, but really its main purpose will be function. So. So it'll be architectural salvage shopping, which was so much fun. And I have this place by me that is really, really cool. It's a giant warehouse just filled to the brim with stuff and nothing really has prices on it. You can do some haggling. I got a ton of stuff that I really need for the house from there, which I'm excited to show you guys. And then diving into the storage and changing that basement up which i think will take about two weeks and then hopefully get back into the kitchen i think that gives like a month of lead time for me to really try to whip that up and get it going again so <laughs> fingers crossed wish me luck i'm so grateful for you guys sticking around and being interested in what's coming next and i'll see you guys next week bye